What separates a shark from the average player is the manner in which they approach the game and the dividends that result from it. I was playing at a bar prior. The people I was playing with were really wasted, so it was pretty easy to, um, you know, get their money. And I wasn't even trying to shark in the first place. The term pool shark is popularly misunderstood. A shark enters the bar under the radar. A chameleon exterior masks his intentions. Very good shot. Billiards was invented in the 15th century. It has been played by royalty, presidents, everyday people, and even hustlers. You gotta look out for them sharks. That's why I play for pride. I mean, I got plenty of that to lose and plenty of that to gain, you know what I'm saying? What happened was that they were just really drunk and belligerent and they thought, I guess, they were good or whatnot. So they were throwing money down on the table and, you know, I'm not gonna pass out an offer like that, so. Pool Shark is somebody who's very good, don't miss. Plays for money. Um, definitely a different, uh, different type of game with Pool Shark. That's when they're, you're gonna bring them out, you know what I'm saying? You have a wager on the line, you're gonna find that, that who you thought you could beat, you really can't beat when it comes down to it. I go around to these bars now and I watch cats like come out to these tables and I'll see like old fuckers with like the pool stick in their hand and they'll shoot with just one hand. And when they do that kind of shit, I know that's a pool shark. Um, I ended up playing them and coming up on some big cash, probably like, definitely like probably around, I think it was 300, 300 to 400 dollars that how, I had gotten. How were you playing? How, I was, you know, here's the thing though, I was playing just how I was regularly playing. Like, I'm not a shark myself, so I don't, I can't, I don't know how to like hide or fool people or anything like that. Like, I'm not a pool shark. I just, I just play how I play. But that night was just lucky for me because those dudes I ended up playing were just, you know, they was, they was, honestly, they were just suckers. So I just like took them for their money, you know what I mean? Similar to a shark in the ocean, its prey have no idea of its presence. The shark stalks from a safe distance and silently calibrates the perfect angle of attack. Consider the pelican for a moment. Soaring above the ocean in search of amphibians and crustaceans, the pelican will circle its prey from above and, once it has calibrated the proper angle, it will make a pass at the fish, but it will not attack. The fish, at first startled by the pelican's presence, are now becoming comfortable and return to a state of homeostasis. It is at this moment that the pelican strikes. Uh, uh, my name is Kale. I've been playing pool for about 20 years. I started off when I was young, like eight or nine, watching my grandfather and my dad play, and I took an interest in it. And when I got into my early teens, I started playing in some local leagues in my hometown and uh, eventually ended up getting into some leagues that got me all the way to Las Vegas with the APA. Well, anyways, I took, I took their money and, you know, I figured, I'm like, okay, well, I'm on a hot streak right now. So I decided to go to a different bar. This bar was my, it's actually more of like a pool hall. So there was like lots of pool tables around. So I go in there, you know, I just look around, I survey the area. And uh, I know some guy playing, you know, he's playing a couple of people. I'm just watching him. And this is the time when I realized, I was like, okay, I'm gonna maybe try sharking. You know, I've never really tried it before, but I might as well just try it. So I just watch him play, and I, I realized that, he, you know, he's not that good, you know, so I could probably come up on him. The pool shark operates according to these principles. He may throw a game or two so as not to set off any shark alarms. He may stumble around the bar rambling about his ex-girlfriend or his boss's Camaro. He slurs his words and makes no sense at times. But once his camouflage is established, the money comes out and the real game begins. The game does not involve utter annihilation, but rather a calculated strategy of winning, but not winning by too much so as to arouse suspicion. Where the average player may go for the jugular at the first opportunity, the shark takes his time, lies low, and lets the stakes rise. What was this other guy like? He was, like I said, like, I, I, I could tell I could beat him because every game he was playing, he was being beaten. And the players that he was playing, 
I can also tell that I could beat them just by seeing how they were holding the Q stick and and the, the way they were just missing shots, you know? They were missing some easy shots that someone like me would be able to land. So I figured, you, you feel me? I might as well, you know, just play them. Just for the hell of it, you know? Enjoy my time there. I start playing him probably like in the third game and he ups the ante. He starts, uh, he wants to start playing for like 40 bucks. And you know, at that time I'm like, okay, I'm already two games, two, three games up on this guy. I'm pretty sure I can beat him. Um. There's a lot of good players out there, but a, a shark is a special someone that not only knows how to shoot and knows the game, but also knows people and how to gamble. Like, the, the skill level hadn't changed. He's still missing the type of shots that a player with my skill level would make. Like, oh shit, like, oh, I could whoop this cat, you know? But then all of a sudden, like, I just happened to miss like one shot, right? But then all of a sudden, it's not that his, his, the way he was shooting changed. It's not like he changed his posture, like how he changed the way he was taking shots. It's just that he was making shots now. He was making all the shots. I gave him one, I just messed up one time and literally he sank every other ball that was remaining on the table. It's like you got a hammerhead and you got a great white going at it, you know? And, and usually the hammerhead fucks up because they hammerhead, they can't open their mouth like the like the great white. When the game was over, I was like, oh man. I was like, damn, that was, you know, that was a lucky game, a good game. So I just gave him like, gave him the money. And he's like, oh, you know, sometimes we have lucky games here and there. That was just a lucky game. But what I realized, like he kept on playing me and he kept on winning. So here I am, I'm like, yo, the guy had like literally by the end of the night, yeah, I may have gotten liquor out of it, but all the money that I had won from the prior bar, I lost it all to him. That's how, what, I guess that's how he like, he sharked me, you know what I mean? Cause I lost. His opponents will have no idea what just happened. They will assume it was all luck. But the shark is once again on the prowl, calculating its next attack and how to improve off the previous one. I'm more observant when I start playing. I, I, I observe my, my, uh, my opponents more before I, before I consider even playing them, which I guess, kind of almost makes me a shark when you think about it. It's weird.